Hey guys, Jason from Unit Solutions. Let's talk about zeroing of the Unit 4. So what I've got in front of me, just got a target. Pick your target, whatever your favorite target is to zero, it doesn't matter. There's a backer on the back of that target. Um, then I'm at a distance of eight yards. Uh, that, that's when we're zeroing, you wanna use your non-marking rounds um, and that's gonna cover you for both your non-markers and marking rounds. Uh, other than that, you know, the other things you wanna have at your disposal, obviously you're gonna need you know, a T-Pack, you're gonna need a magazine to load that T-Pack in. And then, you know, on the, on the ground here, I've just got some sort of tool to be able to make adjustments to uh, the zeroing process overall. So let's take some shots and then we'll, uh, we'll go down and take a look at the grouping. Okay, um, here, you know, that's, that's basically the grouping. It's not untypical, guys, you know, we've got, a, we've got a spherical projectile, right? So it's not untypical to see, you know, one flyer, no issue at all, as long as you've got a good grouping. Um, so I'm gonna make, you know, pretty easy adjustment here. Um, move, that, move those uh, rounds up a little bit and we'll be good to go. Go back down and recheck the rounds. And then you can see uh, the, the rounds moved up. I've got a good grouping here. So I'm, uh, I'm good with that for what we're, what we're gonna do today. Now that you're all sighted in, you're ready to uh, go ahead and execute training. Um, if you want more tips on how to you know, do things specific to zeroing or drills, that type of thing, uh, follow us on social. If you want more information on the rifle, unit four, uh, the mags, the T-packs, go to unitsolutions.com.